Hi everyone. I haven't done a video in so long. I'm so sorry that I haven't posted new content, but I had my baby last year and things have been a little bit busy in his first year. Um, but I wanted to share this Tenley by Tasha Edenholm because there's something super special about her. This is the actual artist proof of Tenley and she is poured in dragon skin. In dragon skin silicone, unlike her dolls now that are poured in Ecoflex 20, dragon skin is very firm. That's me squishing with all of my power. Urgh. And you can see there's a little flex in those chubby cheeks, but not too much. But look at that jiggle. See how she moves? So, you know, she's um, not super wiggly like the other ones, but she does have a little bit of uh, flexibility, but not too much. And I wanted to share her details with you um, before she actually gets shipped off to her new home. I've had her for a while, um, but uh, yeah, I'm just... That's kind of what I do is switch out babies after enjoying them. And then, you know, if I'm not super, super in love with them, then I, uh, you know, kind of do what everybody does. So I wanted to make a details video of her before she leaves my collection. And I do love to have the unique Tasha babies. Um, if you remember my other Tenley, and you can go through my videos and find my other Tenley video um, from my first sculpt that I had of Tenley. And she was the last one poured before the mold broke. So there are only 15 of the original Tenleys. If you remember, I was saying how this hand here is the one that makes it super special. Because um, only up to 15 had this hand. But yeah. So I wanted to, again, kind of show the details of this Tenley and how she moves and any differences um, between her and the other baby. And just for those of you who are curious to see some of Tasha's earlier work uh, in painting, I love the painting on all of Tasha's babies. The modeling looks so good. And her little button. Now, Tenley is a partial silicone, so it means that she's not full body. You can see here, she does have the full silicone legs. And I'll pop off her socks. Her toes are not... Um, cut apart although if you wanted them to be you could easily do that but I tend to leave them alone unless I plan on keeping them for for always <laughs> um, the hair does not really stick to the dragon skin as much as it did on my ecoflex 20 baby which is nice uh, the dragon skin is not tacky at all it feels really nice. Uh, I don't think I've ever had to powder her um, at all. Now it looks, you know, like from the light that's shining down on her, so it's not as dark in this room. It looks like there's some shine, but um, there is nothing sticky or tacky at all. It's just, a ref you know, the light is bouncing off there. And she does have that open mouth, but as you see, like it's pretty firm. Um, I can get a finger kind of in there. So she takes a modified pacifier. I have them over here. You can see how they're just cut. Um, and usually I try to stick with the all the silicone pacifiers and modify those. Those are just the ones that I give away uh, as part of the box opening. But for all the dolls that I have, 
that need a modified passy. I just use a solid silicone pacifier so I don't have to worry about plastic or anything else touching the baby besides silicone just to be safe. Um, it's underneath her little handmade um, bottom here. I'll, I'll go ahead and just kind of open this up or her diaper, but she is all cloth at the bottom, just like how other Tenley is, and there is um, no stuffing at all in here. Uh, yeah, it is just the legs. There is, I mean, there, I'm trying to feel, there might be, yeah, around the back, yeah, just a slight bit of cotton back here, but all up here there's nothing that's all empty because I can feel the joints of the leg. And the bottom half of the body is hand stitched into the upper silicone. Uh, if you recall, that is how the um, other Tenley I had was also that hand stitched um, into that upper torso. She is solid super heavy. She's about 10 pounds um, of silicone and it's super hard uh, to hold her with only one hand. So I'll probably put my phone down for a second to take off her outfit so I can easily uh, remove her clothes without having to worry about moving the silicone too much. So I'll be right back. Okay clothes are off. <laughs> uh, so as you see, she is that partial silicone with the upper torso and the legs, which you could see whenever her clothes are on. Her bottom legs section, um, very easy to move around if you want to change her position. Um, flexible. Uh, she can sit up. You know, if you wanted to have her in a sitting position on your shelf or in your nursery or if you wanted to have her in a cradle she could sit up propped up if I uh, need be. I just wanted to give some of her details. She is lightly rooted. Um, and she has that really dark dark brown hair. It looks black on the video but it's actually dark brown. You have to be very careful when combing it. Um, again with any silicone baby because the hair is not able to be glued down um, inside the head <laughs> like how you do with vinyl babies. And here's all of her details. And you can see um, she has some fuzzies on her from her outfit. So even though she's you know a firmer silicone <laughs> She still is flexible. I love this hand. I think I said that in my other video too, that this is my favorite part of this sculpt. Now, initially, whenever I bought her, I knew that she was the artist proof, uh, but I did not know that she was dragon skin. So you can imagine to my surprise when I opened her and had this super firm, heavy baby Oh, that I was like, oh my goodness. Um, because I was super excited to have another Tenley in my collection, but um, yeah, the I like the dragon skin, um, but I, I don't particularly like it on her for how I like to hold my babies, but I, I think she's an excellent and rare piece to have in anyone's collection. And here you can see Tasha's signature artist proof. And then also on the upper torso, you can see it carved in there when she did that in the clay. And it's also funny because if you look at my other Tenley video, my other Tenley had this same like little seam mark, like right going up the side of the head here. And she has the same thing. So that's pretty cool too. And her ears, you can see, you know, they are flexible. 
Um, there are no rips or tears anywhere. She is 100% perfect um, as far as, as perfect as a silicone can be. Oh, it's like lifting weights. My goodness. My goodness. And so uh, she can also be a boy if you prefer that. Yeah. And I had this one dressed as a girl this time. My other Tenley, I wanted to be a boy. Uh, but also, um, she has super brown glass eyes that are coated with a silicone layer. And my other baby, um, she had the glass eyes. Same with all my other Tasha babies, actually. They have the glass eyes, but they are not... They don't have this silicone material on top. I'm not sure if you can tell in the video or not, but it does have like this rubberized texture on the outside of the the glass eye. Super cool. It looks, they look so realistic um, in real life. I'm trying to get the shot uh, with the light shining over, but because um, it makes them look like they have like, like watery eyes. But super neat. Now you don't, you don't have to <laughs> support her neck whenever you're picking her up. Um, she is not not going anywhere um and she's super super thick silicone this is incredibly crazy We're trying to hold her with one hand um but you can see how thick she is she's like this big husky baby um but you can still dress her um and being that her legs, you know, have this free movement, uh, she's definitely easier to hold. If she was a solid silicone in dragon skin and like with her legs down, uh, she would be very difficult to be able to get any kind of cuddle in because um, it should be so stiff. But I mean, you can see there's, you know, flexibility again, just trying to show the difference between the, the dragon skin and the EcoFlex 20. But yeah, so that's the other Tenley, the artist proof. If anyone wants to see the number one, that's what she looked like. <laughs> yeah, so she'll be getting ready to go home with a nice little box opening. And that's it. Huh. <laughs> All right. See ya.